UA High School is the highest rated and most well known school when it comes to hero courses and training in Japan. And this high rating comes from both their school's quality of schooling, as a lot of people who graduate from UA go on to be gifted heroes, but also the fact that this school is the one that the number one hero graduated from, so it gets brownie points for that. Though UA isn't the only school in the world, and sometimes even when students are gifted enough to make it into UA, they choose to opt out or not attend for one reason or another. And one of these opt outs being the hot blooded living typhoon. Gale Force, also known as Inasa Yuwarashi. On my mark, go plus ultra! Inasa is one of the most standout characters in the entirety of Hiroaka, be it his bulky costume, his hot-blooded nature, or lastly, his amazing quirk. All of these three combine together to create one great character, and how he plays off Todoroki is fantastic. But before we can actually get into that, we should discuss the meaning behind his name first. Inasa Yuarashi is a name chock full of references. First, we'll start by breaking down the names themselves, starting first with Yuarashi, which means nightly storm. And then you have Inasa, which is a continuation of the storm theme by meaning stormy winds. Inasa Inasas, interestingly enough, are actually winds that start in the east and begin to head west. Much like how Inasa started attending UA in the east, and then he headed to Shiketsu in the west. UA in the east, Shiketsu in the west. And it's also often a term used by fishermen in Japan to determine if a typhoon is coming. Described as, if the normal winds begin to Inasa, then that means a typhoon is approaching and you must take shelter. Now, interestingly enough, Inasa's name, when written out in the series, is written out in both kanji and katakana. Now, usually when this is done, it's to hide something or keep a secret about a character like he did with Toga. Though Inasa, it doesn't appear to be the case, as he is open with almost all of his intentions, and we already know his quirks, so there's nothing really to hide hide about his character. Now the reason his name is written out in katakana is likely to overemphasize his masculine features, as katakana is the sharpest written language in Japanese, as it contains less curves like kanji or hiragana and more just hard lines, which are considered masculine. Along with this, it's also the simplest to understand in Japanese, so Inasa would write his name in a way that even the most simple-minded people can understand it, as he is always considering everyone around him. Though another reference for Inasa's name comes from Horikoshi's earlier work with the character of Isana, who was also used again for another Hiroaka villain, but this one was for a mobile game. But Isana and Inasa were designed to be polar opposites of each other. First you have Isana, who is a cruel, unforgiving, and angry character who lashes out at those below him and feels that he is superior to everyone, where Inasa is the exact opposite, with these traits of a kind-hearted nature as he constantly apologizes for everything he does. I am so very extremely sorry! even going so far to forgive those who he's held grudges against his entire life. Then you also have his light-hearted and hot-blooded nature, which are polar opposites to the cruel and unforgiving angry character that is Isana. Also another factor that plays into the connection between Isana and Inasa is Gang Orko's appearance in this arc, as it is a direct cameo to the same series that Isana comes from. And with them appearing together in this arc for the first time, it's hard to deny the connection. You also see elements of Isana in Inasa's design with his long flowing coat with an overly furry neckline, or Isana's overly complex mask divided throughout the entirety of Inasa's outfit, be it the masks on his knees or the tube found throughout all of his body, though other parts of Inasa's design are directly related to his school's military theme. These military themes can be seen in things like his hero name, Gale Force, or Repu, because besides the obvious connection between Gale and his wind theme names, you also have its connection to one of the most famous Japanese World War II fighter planes, the Mitsubishi AM-7 Repu, or or strong Gale. It was at one point actually declared one of the fastest fighter planes ever, and able to surpass anything in the air, Japanese or American. This is likely the reason that Inasa's design seems to be based off of that of a military fighter pilot. Though the reason his school would give him this design and this name is because of his extremely powerful quirk, Whirlwind. Whirlwind is a quirk that allows Inasa to completely control the air around him. This appears to be done with little to no effort on Inasa's part, though if he can't move his arms or legs, he loses significant power in his wind, so his motions aren't just 
just for show. Though his control over his quirk is actually quite amazing, as even at a young age he's completely able to outpace Todoroki, along with being able to maintain multiple wind currents and channel them through each other while saving people and moving debris at the same time and not having either process collide with each other. Along with this, he's able to use his hero costume to generate mini tornadoes to help him fly. He does this by flushing the wind into a cycle throughout the tubing around his body. This helps suspend him in a tornado of his own design. His wind doesn't seem to actually have much limitations either, as he's able to produce either a gentle current or a vicious ice shattering gust. Inasa was a character designed to show the results of Todoroki's actions prior to coming to UA, as when Todoroki was single-minded about overcoming his father, he would lash out against those around him, especially those who would bring up his father in comparison to him. This personality left him coming off just as cold as his father, if not colder. And when Inasa tried to crack this shell around Todoroki when they first met, Todoroki gave him an icy glare, one that reminded him of the same cold glare that Endeavor gave him as a kid. Now, the reason that this glare mattered to Inasa so much is that Endeavor and Todoroki are the exact opposite to Inasa's deep-seated personal beliefs, as he believes heroes, if not life itself, should be done hot-blooded. And what that means is with a positive openness and always giving your 100% and always willing to learn from those around you. As ever since he was a young kid, he was always deeply interested in anything and everything around him. No matter if it was the grossest bug or the prettiest of people, Inasa is always trying to get along with them. All of them, except for Endeavor. A man who showed nothing but coldness in his actions. A man who does not give off the hot-bloodedness that he believes everyone should have. And this wasn't just because he denied his autograph. That's silly and anyone who thinks that is kind of missing the point. It's the fact that the flame hero Endeavor is the polar opposite of hot-bloodedness. And then when Inasa met with the son at the entrance exam for UA and beat him in a race, he tried to talk to him like he was his own person, not just Endeavor's son. But then he was met with that same cold Endeavor glare, causing him to realize that Todoroki is no different from Endeavor and that he's going to avoid UA, because someone like Todoroki would harsh his hot-blooded mellow. Though it wasn't until the license exam that he realizes that his choice to hate Todoroki over that one day clouded his judgment a bit, to the point that he nearly hurt someone innocent trying to outdo the the son of Endeavor. And after realizing that he's become exactly what he hated, alongside Todoroki realizing the same thing, they team up to perform a combination attack in which they combine their quirks, Inasa thematically burning away his preconceived hatred for Todoroki, and accepting him not as Endeavor's son, but as his own person, alongside accepting his own failure during the license exam as his fault. Though, he still doesn't really like Todoroki as a person, but he'll dislike him for his flaws and not Endeavor's. And he shows his commitment to this later during the remedial license exam, when he teams up with Todoroki yet again. But this time, Inasa is not only trying to get to know Todoroki, but they perform yet another team attack. Though instead of mixing the fire and the wind together to create an offensive attack, they combine together the wind and the ice to create a scene of beautiful joy. And they only thought of doing this because of the lesson they learned from their actions during the original license exam. We also see great growth from Inasa during this exam, shown from how he reacts to Endeavor when he sees him in person for the first time. First, he starts by zoning out and looking up at Endeavor, giving him sort of the same look he was giving Todoroki in the original exam. He was getting distracted like he did during the last exam, but this time he stops himself by slamming his head into the ground like he always does, showing that he still has some deep-seated issues towards Endeavor, but he has better control over those emotions now that he's got to meet people like Todoroki and see them actually change over time. Then alongside this, when he actually has a chance to speak to Endeavor one-on-one -on -one, like he did back when he was a kid, he thinks back to the cold expression he was given all those years ago. Though, after noticing his and Todoroki's growth, Inasa punches himself in the face for still holding these grudges against this person, running up and telling Endeavor that he's rooting for him like he used to. Inasa is just such a lovable character, and I honestly feel like he had such a nice spin to the humor and humility of the series itself that I hope he appears in a ton more arcs later on both because I just love his design, even if Horikoshi hates drawing it, but also because I love how his character plays off Todoroki's chilly monotone with his burning, red-hot-blooded personality. Now, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like it in the future, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash manynotthebadguy. And if you want to make your dick fully erect with hot-blooded energy, well, head on over to funimation.com slash show slash shimanetta, boring world of the concentrated jokes doesn't exist. Get yourself a copy of Shimanetta, and that's a wrap.